Hello everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we're going through a quick unboxing of Yoda's Jedi Starfighter set 75360. This particular set's out of the LEGO Star Wars range, as to be expected, and was released uh, sometime around the third quarter of this year, this year being 2023. Wasn't planning on grabbing this set originally, however, my arm was somewhat pulled by someone I know, and here we are. Front of the set for Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. Um, very interesting look. The middle section gives me a weird TIE Fighter, TIE Interceptor, etc. feeling, but there you go. But overall, it's not too bad looking. We do get a Yoda minifig and a R2-D2 quote-unquote minifig and to be honest R2 is actually partly why I want the set if not the only reason why. So that's the front in terms of the back so another shot of the two included minifigs a uh, quick shot of some of the little gimmicky components so Yoda being able to uh, get in and get out of the cockpit and there will be the shooting gimmick for the Starfighter definitely an interesting look from behind as well. Uh, I do actually quite like the look of it. Not too sure what to think about the lightsaber being held there. That can't be healthy. Anyway, moving along. So that was the box. Time to pop open the box, see what's inside, which I suspect will be a manual, probably a sticker sheet and a uh, definitely a few bags of blocks. And with everything out, front of the instruction booklet, so another shot of the Starfighter from a bit of a different angle. Yoda on the outside, R2 on the back. Standard product feedback. Getting straight into the manual, so there will be three bags. Uh, first bag will do the minifigs and the basic underlying structure. Bag two will pretty much finish the cockpit and bag number three will do the wings of the fighter. So starting with bag number one, um, see if I can semi fly through this. I wonder if I've flown, no I haven't, just in time. Uh, 39 steps for bag number one, step 40 kicking off bag number two and we have Yoda here at the bottom as the progress bar. I don't know why they don't just stick to a standard. It's either a minifig or the single stud. My goodness. Uh, so flipping through this a little bit more so we know that bag number two will finish the cockpit. So I'm assuming we're nearly there. There you go. Up to step 65 for bag number two. Step 66 commencing bag number three. And we'll just fly through this to be honest. 98 steps. Once again, I can't rationalize that, but okay. Um, not too bad. Just shy of 100 steps. Uh, some of the other Star Wars sets, so I'm definitely not picking up these. Uh, we've already looked at the Stormtrooper. I still have Vader and Boba Fett to go do the unboxing time lapse and review for. I can also confirm I have actually picked up a few more Stormtrooper since, three to be precise, for reasons that will become known in the future. Priceless. As for what else was in the box, a sticker sheet, not too bad, up to number four in total, but uh, six stickers overall, definitely not bad at all. In terms of the bags, so we know we've got bag number one, which will have a small bag inside. See the minifigs there, can see bits of R2, bits of Yoda, lots of grey. So that's bag number one. Bag number two, once again, has a small bag inside, more grey, some of the green. We do have the pre-painted front of the cockpit as well. Very nice to see. The 
And then lastly, bag number three, which continues the theme of having one small bag inside. And we do have some of these nice green rods as well, which will be part of the firing gimmick, which I will admit I actually did skip over in the manual. And still, once again, the greys, the greens, as to be expected. And a bit of black. That pretty much brings us to the end of the unboxing of Yoda's Jedi Starfighter set 75360. Uh, would have been nice to have maybe have done a time lapse with this one, but um, some content creation didn't go the way I was hoping, so I thought I'll just do this one as a quick unboxing. Um, but yeah, should be fun. Um, probably keep an eye on Instagram to see when this is built, and then we'll just uh, be done as a review video later down the track. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link in the description below. It's also the same handle as the YouTube channel. With that being said, stay safe, take care, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.